Greetings dear friends, Dragon here once again, back with another unboxing. Uh, this is for Shout's very recently released Brave Archer collection, which was available as a, a US only website exclusive. So Shout were only selling this from their own web store and only shipping to US and Canadian addresses, which put me shit out of luck here in, in Scotland. Thankfully, my good mate Jason over at Martial Arts Theatre 3000 came to my rescue, let me send to him first and then on to here. So I was able to get one and lucky enough to be one of the first 600. So I also got a poster, which I'm not gonna keep. So if anybody wants to buy, I shout Brave Archer poster, then send me an email or DM me on Instagram or something. Uh, but let's, without any further rambling, get into the box set. Bit weird when you look around the set that there is not a single Shaw Brothers logo anywhere to be seen and actually no mention of the fact that these are even Shaw Brothers movies on the back of the box in the blurb, which is really weird and very, very strange indeed. Um, I suspect we're going to find that theme continuing once we get inside the box, but let's just take a little look. So this previously, the first Brave Archer movie was actually released here in the UK from 88 Films. I'm going to spine number 13 if you're keeping count, uh, but it was a Region B exclusive. This is Region A and slightly different extra features that they put on it. They've commissioned some artwork, which they do not tell us who did. So I'm not too sure who's actually responsible for this, which is also the artwork that's on the poster. But inside here we get our five individual boxes for the first three movies made by Chang Che and then the two sort of unofficial spin-offs based on the same source material. So we get, uh, we'll go in reverse order. So number five, Little Dragon Maiden starring Leslie Chung. Um, and again, they have taken off the Shaw Brothers logo from the poster. Very strange. Inside here we get a still from the film and our disc. Uh, part four very divisive the brave archer and his mate which an awful lot of people absolutely hate i actually quite enjoy it uh, it's always kind of good seeing ko Choi and more of the venom mob inside the movies pretty cool and uh, brave archer three again pulled off all the shaw's branding from the poster brave archer two First one, the Brave Archer. I think they have commissioned some extras for this. Um, certainly an awful lot more than they put on their incredibly lacklustre uh, Sunny Chiba collection set that they released last year. Um, and this is the first of two Shaw Brothers sets they have coming, though the other one does weirdly have Shaw Brothers branding on it, which is the Shaw Brothers Classics, the kind of 11 movie, 11 disc box set that they've got coming in June, uh, which I will see if I can try and track down, but intrigued to check this out, see what the quality of the transfers are like. Try and get to the bottom of the mystery of why they've completely omitted any mention of Shaw's on here. I wonder if it was a, maybe a contractual thing, but very strange indeed. But that's it for today. Let me know if it's a set that you've also been able to track down or one that you're looking to try and track down. I'm a pretty big fan of this series of movies, as bonkers as they are. The first one in particular is really quite insane. And then two and three a little bit more uh, easy to kind of follow and understand. But some great cameos and some great performances from the Venom mob throughout the series. Uh, and obviously kind of pretty great starring vehicle for Alexander Fusheng. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I've been the Fanatical Dragon. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.